Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create lighting effects in Photoshop. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's episode, we're gonna show you how to create lighting effects for images. This is super cool because we're gonna take the existing lights, making them warmer or a little bit cooler. We're also gonna show you how to give them a little bit of a glow and just make them a little bit more present in general. So here's our image for today and you can actually download this on flurn.com. All you have to do is follow the link right down below. So the first thing I want to do is kind of isolate some of the light sources in my image. And the easiest way to do this is through your channels dialog. So I'm going to click on channels. If you don't see channels, go to window and down to channels. Just make sure it's got a checkbox there. Now I want to click on my red channel first, then a green channel and my blue channel. And what I'm looking for is the greatest amount of contrast between my light sources and the background. And I think the blue channel is giving me that contrast. You can see the light sources are pretty light, but everything else stays pretty dark. So this is actually perfect. Now, the next thing we need to do is turn this into a selection and very easy to do. All you have to do is hit control or command and click right here on the thumbnail for your blue channel. So now that this is a selection, everything that's light in this image is selected and everything that's dark is not selected. So now that we have this selection, we can actually load it into a layer mask and it will control the visibility of a new layer. So let's go into our layers dialog. I'm gonna create a new layer. We're just gonna grab a solid color fill layer. There we go. And because I created a solid color fill layer and I had a selection, it automatically loaded that selection into the layer mask. So as I choose my color here, you can see it's basically just showing up in the lighter areas of the image, which is super cool. So let's try a warm color to start with. We're gonna hit okay there. Now, this does look pretty cool. Uh, I wanna further refine this layer mask a little bit more because I really just want it to show up in the brighter areas. So let's hold Alt or Option and click on the layer mask. And this is what the layer mask looks like. It looks exactly the same thing as the channels did. So now what we're gonna do is just run a levels adjustment right here on our layer mask. Just hit Control or Command L for levels. And I'm gonna take my black point and bring this up a little bit, which is just gonna make the majority of my layer mask a little bit darker. And we wanna keep in mind that what this is doing is controlling the visibility of a layer. So anything that's black on a layer mask, invisible. Anything that's white, totally visible. And anything that's gray is gonna be partially visible. So we can see in this background area here, not at all visible where my subject is, not at all visible. We have a lot of lights here that are gonna be visible. And then we have like some uh, paint on the floor where it would be visible as well. And some little bike racks things. So we're gonna wind up working with the layer mask a little bit more, but this looks great to start with. So let's hit okay there. This is our layer mask. And again, I'll hold alt or option and click on that layer mask, which just shows me what my actual layer looks like. So we'll just turn this off and on and you can see wherever is the lighter areas on my layer mask is visible here. Let's hold alt or option again and click on that layer mask. Then we're gonna use our brush tool. So we're gonna paint black with our brush tools. We'll hit B for the brush tool then make sure your foreground color is black and then I just wanna paint black right over top of the ground here. So this is not, I'm not trying to make like ground effects here. This is lighting effects and these little bicycle signs too. But everything else actually looks pretty good. Maybe we'll just take that away there. I'm pretty happy with this. It's okay if some residual light gets in other places, but that actually looks really good. Again, we just start with channels. We made a couple adjustments after we added this to a layer mask and this is what we have, our light sources on a layer mask. Really cool. So now what we wanna do is hold Alt or Option. Let's click back on our layer mask again, and we can see, boom, this layer is now basically coloring our light sources. Now, because this is just a normal blending mode, it doesn't really look that good. Uh, as soon as we change this from normal to something like a screen or overlay or soft light, let's check out overlay for a second and turn this off and on. And you can see, let's just zoom in here, it has a warming effect on our light sources. Let's go to screen, there we go, and you can see it's gonna be a little bit warmer and brighter. 
So let's go back to overlay here. We're just gonna stay in overlay for just a second. Now, I can double click right here on this solid color fill layer and change the color here. So if I wanted this to be a, like a blue color, check that out. All I have to do is change these colors and it completely changes the colors of all the lights in my image. Now we can continue to refine this if we want. For instance, if I wanted to paint on my layer mask and have the lights on this side of my image be blue and the lights on that side of my image to be orange, I just make a duplicate layer here and then paint black where I don't want it to be visible. Super cool. Let's hit okay. Let's say we wanted even more of an effect here. All we have to do is duplicate this layer. So let's hit Control or Command J. There we go. And you can see we have an even stronger effect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into a screen blending mode. Screen is really nice when you wanna make things lighter. So let's go ahead and put both of these into the screen blending mode. All right, and you can play around. Actually, I like one on overlay and one set to screen. I think that's actually a really nice way to do it. And in this specific case, I wanna warm these lights up a little bit. So let's go ahead and double click here. We're gonna give us like a nice warm color. There we go, a little bit towards yellow. And we'll do the same thing here. So let's double click there. Okay, and we'll go maybe a little bit more towards red in this case. All right. The next thing I wanna do is give these lights a little bit of a glow. I want it to have like a cinematic presence, almost like there's a little bit of a haze in the image itself. So what we're gonna do is duplicate one of these layers. Just click and drag it to the new layer icon. There we go. And I'm gonna just change my color. In this case, we're gonna go all the way to white. There we are. And now that we have basically our light sources in our layer masks, if I want a little bit of a glow around my light sources, all I have to do is blur my layer mask and that blur is gonna create that glow. So let's click on this layer mask here. We're gonna go to filter, blur and down to Gaussian blur. There we go. And as I change the amount of blur in my image, you can see, look at that, my light sources now have a glow to them. So if I bring this down, there we go, we have less of a glow, and I can kind of just choose this, so that's really nice. Now I kind of like that, I think that looks pretty good. There we go. And of course, you can still do things like change your color. So if I double click here, maybe I wanna make this a bit warmer in color, there we go. Now we have like a warm glow coming from all of the light sources. It's so cool, it's like they're a little bit foggy or something like that. You can always blur this layer a little bit more. You can double click here at any time and change the color if you'd like. And if you want the effect to be more subtle, simply lower your opacity or you can change your blend mode. So right now we're on screen. Color dodge is gonna be like a little bit more intense. Overlay is gonna be a little bit more subtle and then soft light is gonna be even more subtle. And then if you go into like your hard light and vivid light, these are gonna be more intense effects as well. <laughs> and hard mix just looks fun. All right, well, I think screen actually does a really nice job. I wanna give it a little bit more color. So we're just gonna go up there just a little bit more. And there we have that glow coming from the light sources in our image. Now, because we changed all those light sources and made them a little bit warmer, just like me on a personal side, I kinda of wanna see the shadows be a little bit cooler in comparison. So what we're gonna do, real quick, we're just gonna grab our adjustment layer, we're gonna go all the way down to where it says selective color. There we go. And here in selective color, I'm gonna take my neutrals and I'm just gonna push them a little bit more towards cyan. Okay, you can see if we go further, that's what it does. But we're just gonna push a little bit of cyan in there. There we go. And now we have like a nice cyan orange look and I can pull this underneath those layers and then they'll just kind of like add to that glow right over top. There we go. We'll just lower the color of that cyan effect a little bit. But we've taken this snapshot, which did look very cool to start, and just made it a little bit more cinematic with a little bit of that cyan coloring, but the glow on these lights, man, I think that's what really sells it for me. Well, that's it for our effect. You can do this with any image because again, we started out using our channels just to make a selection of the light source itself. Then go ahead and load those selections into a layer mask of a solid color fill layer. And then don't forget to duplicate one of those layers and apply a blur to the layer mask. And because we used a solid color fill layer, you could choose the color. Try a couple blend modes. Try overlay, screen, soft light, maybe even color dodge. In my opinion, just makes the image look overall a little bit more interesting.
Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed it, hit the big thumbs up and click on the bell so you get a notification when we create new episodes every single week. And if you just wanna see all of our tutorials, hit that subscribe button on your screen so you'll be like in the club. Thanks so much, I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone. Welcome to the club, the Photoshop club. Hey, can I see your ID to get in? Actually, psych, everyone can get in. Ah. <laughs> it's not exclusive in any way. Well, it's exclusive to the people who want to be in it.